Good afternoon. I know the lunch is waiting. I will not take much time. I will try to finish as quick as possible. Uh, so this is about the, my talk is about the role of Oral Lab, you know, the impact it has made globally as an organization. So this will be my uh, presentation layout. I'll briefly tell about why Oral Lab was established and then the guiding principle with which it was established and then the evaluation of how we have progressed in the last 30 years. And then small note about each division and then Oral Lab, what it is today. And then the and what it has done in the Indian market and our global footprints. And then we have to have some registration done to do our business. So this is what uh, my presentation is going to be about. So as you know that one of the founding values of the Aravinda organization, Aravinda Hospital, is to treat the patient irrespective of their ability to pay. In the late 80s, when the, you know, and to maintain the equity of care, in the late 80s, I think when the lenses came into the market, they were all imported and then the, it was not available for the poor patients. So this, I think, affected or, you know, bring brought some discomfort to the founding members, particularly Dr. V. And he wanted to make sure that, you know, this good quality treatment is available for the poor. So I think that was the intent. I think this uh, vision was supported by many partners, CBM, Seva, um, and uh, Seva Canada, Site Savers. And I take this moment to thank these partners. Seva is here now. And then the guiding principle is to, the intention is to make sure that this device is affordable and this operation is self-sustaining. So those were the you know, major two blocks of that guiding principle. Because of this, you know, we made an innovation in pricing and then we made it more affordable. And because of that, the accessibility was ensured. And then because we were able to give it a lower price, the competition also reacted to it. And then the competition was influenced. Ultimately, I think the community benefited. It is not just the Indian community. I think globally, the Indian companies command at least 60 to 65 percent of the global implants. And you know, whatever the IOL implant in the, in the globe, it's you know, about 65 percent goes from India. I think Oral Lab played some catalytic role in making that happen. And over the last, you know, 30 years, you know, we made eye oils first and then followed by uh, pharmaceuticals and the suture needles and then blades, equipments. And then now we are also trying to get into the spectacle lens business. In the year 2017, we celebrated our uh, uh, Silver Jubilee. And then eye oil, you know, we, we still make this uh, uh, PMM lenses, which constitute more than 50% of our production. And then we have got a unique square edge lens, which prevents PCO. There was a study done by Dr. Hari Priya, implanting one Alcon lens in one eye and uh, our square edge lens in the other eye. End of the ninth year, I think the PMMA, though PMMA with the square edge, it was you know significantly better than the Alcon lens in terms of PCO. Every 14 seconds, one eye oil gets implanted anywhere in the world. And then we hold about 10% of the global share. So one lens implanted out of 10 in the world is from uh, our lab. And then we are also you know, going to make this ICL and ICL toric. And then we are also going to make this, um, you know, uh, Vivid, which is a continuous focus vision lens, which we call that as. Uh, and we are also going to bring some toric uh, platform in that. The pharmaceutical has done some unique products which are not in the market, uh, you know, earlier. Some of that could be, you know, Ozol and then Yee Kit, Aromax. All of these are breakthrough products that were not available in the market. And then these are all, uh, and we have got some new uh, products coming up. The silicon oil in prefilled syringe, tripon blue in prefilled syringe. Vetiporphine is also discontinued. I think this is also one of the drugs that we are trying to develop. So... And then we're also trying to develop a bivazizumab in a small uh, vial, uh, which can be used one time as one dose. So this is not there in the market now at a reasonable price. So this is also an area where we are trying to work with Zydus Cadilla. On the suture needle division, I think we are the, there are only four manufacturers in the world who are doing the ophthalmic sutures now, and we are one among them. The other two are in the US and one in Japan. And then the technology came to us from Germany. And then when we launched, we launched at one third of the price. And then the, this division also makes a lot of orbit and oculoplasty products, thanks to Dr. Usha. I think with the guidance, we have done a lot of uh, such products. The blades division, we entered a bit late. But though we entered a bit late, we are one of the leading players in that segment now. This year, we'll be closely touching 4 million blades. 
and then the last average we did about 2.3 to 2.4 million uh, units a year and then now our blades are globally accepted in many countries you know we are uh, rated one of the good blades you know in line with uh, alcon and uh, mani and the equipment we started off with the green laser because dr uh, nam uh, you know wanted us to make the green laser more affordable so that's what we started with and then we gradually we have migrated to other equipments some of them is hummingbird this hummingbird machine we designed keeping the third world reality in mind it takes lower power even if there is a power fluctuation it can work and even if the power fails it can the settings can get remain the same and then you don't have to change it, 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 there is no need to change any consumables after the power goes off and we have got one world class product called ec which is handheld auto refractometer this was a joint venture between our lab and four postdoc students from uh, massachusetts institute of technology boston so this is one of a breakthrough products that we have done and then Uh, we are also making the product that is sold in the us and europe at our lab in madurai and then we also have we have got many products you know like iyl suches pharma and then many other products and then you know very few things are needed uh, for the cataract surgery other than these products like the eye drapes and all of that that we buy from outside and then we assemble them as a kit so this is very very useful for the customers in the africa they don't have to go to 10 suppliers to import them so we as one single reliable source we import everything and then assemble as per their need so this is making a huge impact in fact you know uh, himalayan cataract foundation is one of our key customers and then they use a lot of uh, these kits uh, dr jeff tabir is here so thank you for this you know business that you give all over the years and you are one of the largest customer for the e kit uh, for this kit our lab kit and then we are also having you know plans to you know uh, bring out this uh, glaucoma kits and trachoma kits and all of that and then today if you look at in the beginning we were supplying only to aravind now we supply in about 160 countries earlier we started off with 10 people today we are about 1200 staff and then earlier we were doing only 1000 i mean 150 ivls now we are going about 12000 ivls a day and then from one division i will we have got about five divisions now sixth is uh, you know also getting into place and then the channel earlier we were selling directly now we have got about 35 domestic dealers and 85 uh, you know international dealers the range of products uh, that time it was only i will now we have got a range of products last year we have done close to 2 crore products we have shipped out to 160 countries and then uh, this gives a very glimpse of what we have done last year and then our lab in the indian market we are touching about 9000 customers and then we are becoming more a customer centric organization now we have got about 33 dealers and then we have got about 120 sales person on the ground and then we have got about 18 people on for the service so yeah on an average we we you know we do roughly about 300 orders uh, a day and all with that within 24 uh, hours of time 80% gets out within 24 hours of time we are there in 160 countries and then we have got about 85 dealers and then average we do about 1300 shipments per day so every day that five shipments gets exported uh, from our lab we have registered our products uh, you know there are about more than 150 registration some of it includes prestigious uh, fda us fda and many other countries and then our our organization was studied by harvard uh, unido and then it was also featured in uh, mr prakalath's book so this is one of the uh, business cases cited in many uh, and then we also work with a lot of uh, partners cbm seva iapb um, and brain hold and vision and then um, we also work with himalayan cataract foundation tcf and then uh, we are going to put up a eye drops facility which will comply with the us fda norms this is going to come and then you know we also want to put our people direct our staff in turkey and indonesia this year and then we are also doing a rebranding and then we want to position ourselves as a leading uh, a leader in ophthalmology not just a technology follower and then we also have plans to sell our otc products in the us and then we are, we are going to you know i mean we are going to get into a new warehouse in another 5 6 months this will be a state of the art warehouse and then it's a small story that you know talked about a small girl in dr congo about 10 11 years congenital cataract she never had a vision and then her grandmother carried her all the way 
to a eye cap where she got the surgery this photograph was shared to me by my friend from hungary it came in the hungary national geographic magazine in which uh, they have put up the label on top of the face of the child so in that our logo is there so he was able to identify and then send it to us and then the whole story is that you know she was born blind and then she was able to see the world through our lenses so that defines our work thank you